<laughs> hey, hey, everybody, welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So I was just sitting here at my nephew's birthday party with my sister and my brother-in-law, and an interesting topic came up, transracial. Meaning, if you don't like your race, you can just change it. So does race have a meaning anymore? I don't know. I'm talking about this with my sister and my brother-in-law. And you guys tell me what you think. Hello, everybody. I think that there are people in need Let me give you a good introduction. Hold up. Psychiatric help. This is, this is my brother-in-law, Rando. This is my sister, Vanessa. What do you guys think about the transracial whole Phenomenon? issue? Yeah, it's, it's I, insane. I think people are in need of some serious psychiatric help. I was watching that video of that guy in England, I believe, who identifies as a Korean. He's a pasty white dude, so now he's having all of this surgery, cosmetic surgery done. And for background effect, understand, Randall's Korean. Yeah. So I think he would know. <laughs> actually, actually, he's... I'm oh, half. All yeah, Asians, Korean. all Asians are white. Yeah. So there's that. Well, but go ahead, Randall. In, in the Thurston County School District, my son is considered white because he excelled too too well and academically. Hold up. So, Peter, how's it feel to be white now? Excuse me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your white privilege card? <laughs> nah, I prefer to send people to the rice fields. I don't know. They just took that power away from me. <laughs> I can't I'm, send people to the rice fields anymore and I hate it. I'm going to get you a white privilege card drop the Hodge Twins uh, YouTube page. Alright, my thing on it is I get where some of these people are coming from. They appreciate the culture. However, some of them have never lived with what that culture entails. Case in point. Racial violence towards Asians. <laughs> So, or putting chili jam in egg fried rice. Yes, putting chili jam in egg fried rice and destroying hey, the tofu uh... with your hands. Now, I understand you appreciate the culture, you admire it. That's great. You don't need to change who you are to be appreciative of a culture. Look, your culture is your culture. There's nothing bad. There, okay, there's some bad things and there's some good things with it. Guess what? That's life. There's always good and bad with things. It does not mean, hey, I don't feel like being this person anymore. Let me go change it in hopes to make myself feel better. You're not going to feel better. Just accept who you are. So, because all three of us have extensive history in the mental health field. Mm, we all worked at the Looney Bend. We did. So, do you think it's more of what Randall saying is this is a type of mental illness? Yes, I do. Yes or no? Explain. Some Vanessa. people are overzealous with things. Throughout history, people will appreciate something or have fervent belief in something that they take it way too extreme. We've seen that throughout history. Come on, Spanish Inquisition. Witch hunts. Oh... After 9-11, oh, you're Muslim, we're going to attack you. Present day, COVID, oh, you're Asian. Let me harass you. Let me beat you. Well, see, and that's one of the things we were talking about earlier, Vanessa, is I don't know if people realize you can blame the Chinese people. It's not the Chinese people. It's the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. And the corporations that help funded that. Nike. Well, I don't know about Nike. NBA. Oh, Nike makes a lot of money in China. Yep. A lot. I understand that, but did they fund to get that virus up and running? Actually, yes, they did. So, I saw this. Nike actually gave money to the research team. It was Nike, our own government, mm -hmm. so we should be blaming ourselves, right? Yeah. Yep. A ton Anybody load of funding. who funded it needs to have equal blame. Yep. However... We all know governments are not going to admit it. Nope. Never have, never will. You know who else was a big donor? 
Facebook. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. In the gain of function research? Yep. How to make viruses more deadly? And you think that's a good thing? That's not a good thing. No, it's it's um for me it was it's like we wanna just in case this virus evolves one day, we wanna know how to treat it, but apparently you don't know how to treat it. So you failed. And so I'm agreeing with what you're saying. Everybody who was involved in this should share blame. It's not just China. The United States had a hand in it. The World Health Organization had a hand in it. Major corporations like Nike and Facebook had a hand in all this. Pharma had a hand in it. Big Pharma. Big Pharma. Because now they're talking about these update vaccines and it's like, really? Really? You mean you get paid every year? Because we have to mandatorily get some. Here's the thing. And there's no long-term research on the effects of this vaccine. Vaccine. It could Here's the potentially thing. do more harm to you 10 years it, down the road than... What it boils down to is... Getting the Delta variant right now. Here's what it boils down to. You can have an appreciation for your race. You can love your race. You do not need to take it to the extreme, okay? In the so grand scheme of things... So should that, I cancel my Swedish surgery? Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be a Swedish model, go for it, I suppose. I have been doing setups. Good for you. <laughs> be black and proud, Dan. I love you just the way you are. Well, see, and that's the thing. I think that's one of the big issues is people don't love themselves for who they are. Depression, yeah. Yeah, here's it's insane. My, here's my thing. Don't worry too much about what this person has, what this person has, what per this person doesn't have. Why do you care? Worry about yourself. Worry about what's going to, you know, make you happy, make your family safe, all that stuff. You don't need to go overboard <laughs> with it. like a music. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm starting to hate that song. As much as I hate <laughs> Into the Unknown 500 different versions. Alright, sorry guys, my nephew got a... New toy vacuum. Yep, that plays Baby Shark over and over and over again. I'm sure that's going to get old in five minutes. <laughs> but no, I, I appreciate you, Vanessa. Thank you today. Hey, you're welcome. Yep. So, as always, on the Dan this episode of Dan's Dawson Show, like, subscribe, share... And as always, Vanessa. do what you got to do. Oh, hold up. Let's do that again. Vanessa, we're leaving Randall. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, do what you got to do. do.